Welcome to this new topic, functions. So functions are very common in every programming language, whether it is C, C++, Java, Python, or anywhere you will go, you will find functions because of its multiple advantages that it gives to the program. Think about a repeatable code that you need to execute again and again. And for that, the best way to do this is write a function. So functions are basically a block of code in which you write a code that you need to execute again and again and again. For example, think about the calculating the EMI of or the estimated monthly installment of your house or of your car, right? So bank executive have to enter every day almost n number of times what is the tenure what is the loan amount right and some other details as a parameters to the functions that means it is supplying some information to the function and function is executing it for any customer that is coming into the bank or think about a health care uh, health care uh, provider where a person is coming in and they are asking for a particular type of healthcare. So they enter their detail and calculate some of the uh, standard uh, metrics like their BMI index, the body mass index. So what it does is uh, it basically take your height, it takes your weight and whether tells you whether you are overweight or underweight. So think about if there are hundreds of patients are coming in, they are entering it for hundreds of patients. So what they do is or what programmers do is in the back end they create a function which is having this standard functionality of calculating the bmi index or emis and all and gives you the output so how we can write the functions within julia let's see this so for this let me write let me start with the very simple functions which is like a function within one single line right and we can make it more and more complex as needed all right so let's start let me go in here and the syntax for this is f denotes that's a function x x means this is a value we will going to receive from the user right and let's say we want to create a function to add two values as simple as that and for this x plus x that is it so what is going on here we are receiving an input from the user here and passing the input over here so whatever that value is just double it in this case so i will write uh, shift enter and this will create a function for us and then we will pass on the parameters All right so f2 so what i'm doing over here passing the 2 over here so f2 what it will give me four right that is it similarly you can write fx equals to x multiply with x and sorry uh, yeah it should be fine now f and what i write is let's say 127 so what it gives me the multiplication of this 127 multiply with 127 now let me write a bit of a uh, advance or a little complex f x comma y that means you want to supply two different values so in that case let's say the expression that we want is we want to multiply x with uh, sorry x with 2 and then subtract y so this is just a dummy or made up calculation by me which can be anything like an algebraic calculation that you have all those things you can calculate over here in just one single line so if you press shift enter and now let's supply the value for example f 2 comma 3 so what will be the output in this case if you if you can pause the video and calculate it so i hope you have uh, paused it and got the output and it's very simple 2 multiply with 2 which will be 4 minus 3 is equals to 1 so let's see and that's what your output is right so now you see how these functions basically work in a one single line this is like very simple function that i've told you but you can make it as complex as you want uh, based on the expression that you have based on the number of parameters that you need to pass make it the way you want it all right let's move on to a standard uh, standard way of uh, 
applying the functions or writing a function so for this we write a proper keyword function and let's say the function we want to do is multiply x comma y that means we want a simple function of a multiply and that's your first line in the next line it will automatically take the indentation as you can see it's starting from here not from here and that's the right indentation that it needs to follow and just say return another keyword return x multiply with y and finally and so what is going on here here you are first writing a function accepting the two inputs from the users and then re returning the multiplication right so return is the keyword that you you can use or you need to use within the function and uh, it will return a value that shows it's a function that returns a value well there are functions which does not return you simply write print x multiply y perfectly fine but in this case i'm just showing you return x multiply with y and uh, what it does is you once it returns the value you can assign it to another variable let's say that you want for the further calculation so that's the benefit of the return if you are writing symbol a print command it will not return anything and just print out the values which which is there in the function for the processing so let's execute it's executed and i will now write multiply 25 comma 43 and it will give me the output as you would expect right now let's see another a real life application for example there are men there are times when you need to convert the meters into the inch right so how to do that so there is there is a google you know uh, app, app already there once you write it within a google it gives you at the very first page that okay write the meters write the inches and uh, sorry write the meters and you will it will be converted into inches or write the inches it will be converted into a meter so and there are websites to do that but how it does it in the back end let's see this so function convert underscore meter underscore two underscore inch right and just get the value so this is a variable we are accepting over here just one variable which is meters and we are returning the calculation that value multiply with 39.37 this is basically a value in one meter you have 39.37 inches and and all right so now convert underscore meter so i have just pressed the tab it will automatically complete yes it has completed and i want to see 1.5 now so 1.5 is 59.054 or 055 or 59.06 meter if, if if we round it to a nearest value so with this i would really like you to do one exercise in this exercise what you need to do is create a bmi index so it's basically bmi search it on google figure out its formula and create a bmi index right isn't it interesting first try with your bmi index what is your bmi index is saying what is your family members or friends bmi index is saying and this will be a pretty cool exercise to to work upon so let's move on to um to another little complex function so what we will going to do is we will going to write the if conditions within the function now so we have function convert meter to inch right and we have value well and what we will going to do is we will going to pass another value which is name so name by default let's say we call it pattern right if nothing is supplied so what it's saying basically in case of val val parameter we need we definitely need a value otherwise our program will not work but in case of a name let's say there is a patient who is coming in or let's say there is a person who wants to come in and want to evaluate it and doesn't want to give its name then it will just say pattern which is like a common way of indicating someone so if 
name equals to equals to patron then you just print ln yeah that means print and create a new line um, just say value for name is not supplied right else print ln and hi comma name comma the conversion value is space so i have if you you see i have given space here and space here just to make it properly formatted all right and return value multiply with 39.37 and end here all right so a lot of things going on here let's revisit it so first thing that we are doing is val we are accepting the value in meters and we are just asking for the name in case name is provided if if name is a default name that means name is not provided and it is picking up the program is picking up the default name then we are just printing value for name is not provided if the name is provided we are saying hi name of the person for example hi abhishek the conversion value is this 39.37 in the next line if you want to print it in the same line we will just remove print ln so let's go ahead and execute it and let's write convert meter to inch and let's say 2.3 and we don't provide anything so value for name is not supplied that's first thing as a print statement is 90.5003 so what it has done is it has not uh, executed the this particular piece and the reason for this is because this is the block which has been executed right since this is executed it came out this condition has evaluated true so it has not evaluated this one and it has just returned this particular piece right so to to basically improve that what we can do or to basically um, evaluate whether this is executing or not we will write shake hi b shake the conversion value is this all right so this is executing because we have supplied the name here and the default condition have become false so i hope you have got the idea about how you can write some complex functions like this if not no worries I would just like that you experiment with it. Let me know whenever you are encountering any issues in, um, in writing these sort of functions or something is not clear. Initially, it looks a little daunting writing a function, but trust me, once you are in it, you will write very efficient programs. So that's about it. And now I will meet you in the new topic.